All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we got another taste test from our friends at The Feed, and we are taste testing energy gels today. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon next to that is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of this awesome cycling content on this channel. So, right into the video, we are taste testing energy gels today. Now you might be like, what are energy gels? You've done a bunch of stuff on here with a bunch of taste tests from the feed. What are energy gels? So, energy gels, if you've never heard of them before, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one out here so you can take a look. And this is, of course, Honey Stinger here. So, energy gels essentially they come in a little packet like this. And inside of there, there is essentially a gel, is what it is. And it's gonna be flavored and pretty much, in my opinion, energy gels are made to get you the most nutrition as possible in the with the least amount of effort and the most efficient way possible compared to some of the other things we try on this channel like our energy chews our energy bars those ones are much more about having like a snack you know and be able to you know take a break a little bit have a snack have something you enjoy pretty much the purpose of the energy gels in my opinion is to get the most nutrition you possibly can in the most efficient way so they're a little bit different they're definitely a different experience for some of those other ones so yeah, so I've tried, so I've tried energy, so I've had energy gels in the past before. I will say that energy gels are not my favorite way of taking in calories and sustenance while I'm out riding. I'd much rather have an energy bar or energy chews or what I really like to have. However, they do work. So let's talk about how we're going to be rating these today. So we have eight totals today. There are a top nine from the feed. However, there is one, I believe it was Martin's again, that has one that's very similar. The only difference is one has caffeine, one does not. So we're just going to be testing the non-caffeinated one. So there are going to be eight that we're totally ranking today. And what are those criteria we're going to be ranking them on? So of course, number one is going to be taste. Like I've said in my other videos, if you taste it and you hate it, you're not going to like it. You're not going to use it. You're not going to do it. And you'd rather die than have your energy gel. That's gonna be number one. You gotta like the taste of it. Number two is gonna be, does it fit in a jersey pocket very well? It has to be set towards cycling. If it's not set towards cycling, there's no point in having it. It's, that's when you're gonna be using it, you're gonna be using it while you're out riding. So is it accessible while you're on the bike and is it able to be open when you have gloves on there or is it gonna be a pain in the butt to use while you're out riding? That's gonna be our number, that's gonna be our second thing we're gonna be looking for. And those are gonna be our two criteria we're really looking at today. It's gonna be taste and then accessibility while you're out riding. So let's go ahead, get right into this. I got my water right over here and we got all of our energy gels right over here. Let's go ahead and start with product number one. All right, so product number one, we got the Cliff. Wait, what? Okay, we got the Cliff Shot, the energy gel in chocolate flavor. All right, let's see here. Oh, interesting. So this has caffeine in it, just a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna be something else we can look for. Do they, do they have caffeine? This one has seven milligrams of caffeine. So pretty, pretty basic. This one says, uh, used for during, of course, and for best results, one packet 15 minutes before, one two packets per hour. Pretty, pretty basic. Always follow consumption with water. So that is one thing. A lot of these are concentrated, so you want to make sure you do have water with you, so you can kind of mix it up, make it make it taste a little better. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, open this guy up. So let's see. Litter leash. I don't know what that means. So let's try and open this. So I think it opens like this. You rip across the top. All right, there we go. I got ripped across the top for that guy. Let's go ahead and throw our trash right over here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try this chocolate energy gel. Here we go, let's taste how it is. All right, so this one tastes like you just had chocolate syrup. Now, this is a little bit of a nutritional taste to it, kind of back end, but it tastes like you just had chocolate syrup dumped in your mouth. It's very thick, I like chocolate syrup. Um, similar to like, syrup like regular syrup honestly it's very sticky very chewy um it's not bad it tastes it's chocolate it's chocolate you know out of them all i've had cho chocolate the one i've had before it's not cliff but i've had chocolate and um they're not horrible for a first one we grabbed a good one this is okay all right start off with the bad one i don't know if this video would happen or not but i like it i like it very chocolatey tastes like you're eating a chocolate bar just in like a chocolate syrup form. So, pretty good. We're just gonna go ahead and place that guy as our number one spot for now. Let's go ahead, taste test product number two. So product number two, we got the Power Bar Power Gel right here in the Hydro Liquid Energy Gel and orange. So we're looking at easy to swallow without drinking immediately afterwards. Huh, trash chain. I don't know what that means. They all kind of have something like that. No, just some of them. They have something called a trash chain, and that one has like a litter leash or something. I don't know what that means. So, 
Maybe you're meant to put that on something. I don't know. This one feels like gel is what it feels like. That one very thick like syrup. This one feels like a gel. And uh, yeah, it's definitely bigger. It's definitely bigger. I mean, that's bigger, that's almost as big as my hand for the packet. So I mean, it's pretty, pretty big versus our good old, you know, our cliff little shot there about the way up, about the side of my palm. So it definitely is a bigger amount here. It's actually like twice the size is what it says. So I'm slightly concerned about opening this and it not wanting to close again, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So go ahead and open her up here. Oh, okay. I get it. It keeps the tab on the top. Oh, I just messed that one up. That's why. Okay. It keeps the tab on the top, keeps the little top tab there so you're not littering around. That's a smart idea. That is a smart idea. Okay. Power bar, power gel, orange. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Woo. Holy smokes. Okay. It is very strong. Very strong. That's like if you took a shot of Gatorade. <laughs> like the strongest Gatorade you can think of. That's what that's like. I mean, there's a little bit of orange flavor, but it's not very much. It's much more like a drink than a gel, in my opinion. It goes down like liquid, is why, my opinion. So, not my favorite. All right, so let's uh, go put that Power Bar Power Gel second place. Let's go ahead and look at product number three. All right, so product number three, we got the Goo Cola Me Happy, naturally flavored energy gel. This one's got 40 milligrams of caffeine. Again, it's about the same size. This is about the size I've seen for gel. It's about the size of your palm. Nothing super crazy. And cola flavored, a little bit of caffeine in there. This one feels probably between the two. It's not as thick as the chocolate is what it feels like, but it's not just like straight liquid like the uh, Power Bar is. All right, that one doesn't have a little litter guard thing. That one's, that's kind of neat. I like that idea. I didn't realize what that was at first, but I kind of like that idea. It saves you from having the top floating around. Cause you know the little top is gonna get lost. Goo, cola me happy. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh, does not taste like cola. I don't know what that tastes like. Nope, uh-uh. Doesn't taste like cola. The texture is no. No, and that's why I don't like gels is the texture. They don't like the texture. It doesn't taste like cola. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes disgusting. I, we ain't doing that one. That's last place. If it almost makes me puke, it's going last place. Let's try number four. Hopefully number four is a little bit better than that one was. So number four, we got the Honey Stinger Energy Gel in gold flavor. Uh, I'm guessing that's honey. <laughs> this is what gold is. Let's see. Energy gel, honey blended with electrolytes and B vitamins for a quick burst of energy on the go. Okay. So it's gold, probably gold honey is what that means. So again, about the same size, about the size of my palm, about the same there. And uh, yeah, I kind of like the honey stinger stuff. It's probably pretty good. Uh, definitely looks like honey. All right, so there you go. Honey stinger, energy gel, gold. Let's give it a shot. See what we think. Tastes like honey. <laughs> It's like you're eating honey. <laughs> so if you're a honey fam, this one's for you. So it's good, it's good. It's, uh, it's honey. So if you're looking for something that's just straight honey, I'm sure they have other flavors since they label this one gold. They probably have other flavors too. But if you like honey, give this one a shot. It's not bad. I'm gonna put it kind of right here for now. I think that's pretty fair. Let's go ahead and look at product number five. All right, spread number five. Oh, we got another goo. Let's see, this is a goo energy gel. Uh, Roctane Ultra Endurance uh, and Blueberry Pomegranate. So this one has a ton of amino acids, sodium, and caffeine. And um, I think pretty much the biggest difference is this one has caffeine. Well, no, that one has caffeine too, I thought. This one has more caffeine. No, well, no, actually that one has more. I don't know what the difference is. It's got something in there. Ultra Endurance Amino Acid Supplement. Whatever that means. I don't know. Blueberry Pomegranate though. Please be better than that one. That one almost killed me. It's the same size. Same thing as that goo one. About the same size there. Goo and energy gel blueberry pomegranate with the Roctane in it. Let's give it a shot. See what we think. Okay. There's a little bit of the pomegranate. It's got a weird aftertaste to it. I'm not a fan of that. It's better than this. Thank goodness. It's better than this one. I'm not a fan of the aftertaste. It's not very good. I don't like the aftertaste. So with that being said, 
I think it's goo is gonna go down with other goo. At least as of now. We have a few more left, but as of right now, I think this goo is gonna go right next to his brother goo, right there. And uh, we'll leave him right there. We'll leave it like that. That's pr I feel pretty happy with that. So there's number five. Let's move on to product number six. All right, it's product number six. We got this Muir Energy. I don't know, is that Muir Energy? M U I R Energy. 100% real food for sport and life. This is a cashew vanilla mate. Okay, 90 milligrams of caffeine. Six ingredients is all it has in here. Cashew butter, coconut palm nectar, blackstrap molasses, yerba mate extract, vanilla extract, pink Himalayan salt. What's mate? Am I the only one who doesn't know what mate is? Okay, South American tea, known as mate. Okay, yerba mate plant are dried and steeped to make a herbal tea. Okay, okay, so it's kind of like a tea, I guess, okay. I didn't know what that word meant, so there you go, do you guys now know what that means? All right, so vegan, organic, probably, yeah, they all are, whatever. This is the first mixed one, I guess you could call it. The rest of them are kind of just plain flavor, so this one's got kind of a different flavor to it. Let's see what we got looking like. That is thick. Okay, so uh, mere energy. Let's give it a shot, see what we think. Okay, it's different tasting. It's, you can tell it's real versus like synthetically made or however the heck they make these ones, but it's, it's different. It's weird, you can taste like, I think it's the cashews you can taste, like ground up cashews, so you can actually taste those. It's not bad, it's not bad. You know, I'm gonna put it like above the goose. It's not my favorite today yet. So that was uh, so that was product number six. We're gonna put that in fourth place there. And let's go ahead and pry out product number seven. All right, so product number seven, we're looking at the Martin. This is the Hydrogel Sports Fuel Gel 100. That is the one I told you there are two versions of this that came in there. These are both ranked to the top nine gels on uh, the Feeds website. So they have the Gel 100 and then they have the Gel 100 with Caffeine 100 here. Only difference I can tell is this one has caffeine. These two have exactly the same ingredients in them, which is again, a very short list, but the only difference is this one says caffeine on it and has caffeine in the ingredients list. So we're not gonna do that. If you do have the caffeine list, 100, 100 milligrams per serving. That's quite a bit. Uh, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit of caffeine and just one little thing. I think that tops, I think this makes this the most caffeine in any of these. So we're not gonna try that one, we're just gonna try the regular one because I really don't need that much caffeine in my life right now. So let's see, in the last video, I think I tasted their drink mix is the one I tasted and it was a very neutral flavor. It didn't taste like much and um, I'm assuming this is about the same. There's no flavor added to it or anything. So let's give this one a shot, see what we think of this one. I remember the last Martins wasn't, wasn't too bad. Okay, opening, not the favorite. Are you really gonna squeeze this thing to get out? Okay, so here we go, Martin's Gel 100. Let's uh, give it a taste, see what we think. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of the drink mix. Tastes like nothing. I don't even know what to describe it as. It's like you had just a tasteless, tasteless, like jello with no taste to it. It's not bad, there's no flavor to it, so. You know, sure, there's a little bit of getting used to that. You're just eating flavorless gel, but it has no flavor to it. So I would dare to say, let's scoot these down. Let's put it third from the top right there. And uh, we'll call that, call it pretty good for our top seven. And we have our last one, number product number eight. So we're finishing up with our untapped slope side syrup. All natural athletic fuel, salted raspberry infused with Vermont maple syrup. All right, so it's probably about as big as the power gel, but quite a bit thinner, so you can fit multiple of these in there. Okay, so what's your ingredients on here? There is organic Vermont maple syrup, organic raspberry juice, and sea salt. That's it. Salted raspberry, untapped, infused maple syrup with juiced red raspberries and sea salt, creating a refreshing balanced fuel to restore your electrolytes. Okay, All right, not bad, not bad to tear. This one actually gives you a little slot on the end for it to come out of versus some of them just the whole thing. So a little bit more controlled. So let's uh, untap, let's give you the last one. Let's see what you taste like. Wow, that is strong. Tastes like raspberry syrup. <sighs> it's literally what it tastes like. So again, I'd say it's one of the ones if you like syrup, you know, this would be the one for you. Um, kind of like I said, if you like honey, this is the one for you. I personally like the honey one better. So we're going to kind of scooch. We're gonna put this guy 
right in the middle. All right, so here we got our top eight energy gels, right in the order of what we think is the best ones for you. Starting off, we got the Cliff Energy Shot chocolate, we got the Power Bar Power Gel in orange, we got the Martens Gel 100, Honey Stinger in the gold, we got the Untapped in the, let's see, Salt, we got Untapped in Salted Raspberry, Mirror Energy, Cashew Vanilla Mate, and then we got the Goos, we got the Goo Blueberry Pomegranate, and the Goo Cola Me Happy right at the end. That is our ranking there. As always, I tell you what I would ride with, realistically, Realistically, like I said, I am not an energy gel guy. The only two I would really ever ride with are going to be these top two. A power bar, power gel in the orange, and the Cliff Energy Shot in chocolate. And even then, they would be like a last resort. I had nothing else. I would, that was the only option to have. I'd take those. I am not an energy gel person. Energy gels, you need to adjust to them. They're not something I recommend just picking up and going with and just taking them on a ride without ever trying them before. You need to try them out. They have a very interesting texture and flavor and characteristics to them that are very different than a lot of stuff you've tried. But that is going to be the ranking we give them right there. Pretty happy with that. Um, definitely wasn't on my taste. Definitely was a taste of the video. I wasn't looking forward to, but we did it. We got through it. And uh, yeah, that's the energy gels for you. If you're interested in picking up any of these energy gels in the video, I'll have a link in the description down below. You can check out thefeed.com. They are awesome. They have all these in stock. This is their top nine energy gel pack that I tested today. Of course, they have different flavors of all of this. Go check their website out. Support them. They're an awesome company to work with. And hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering any questions you guys have. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.